Hello everybody, welcome to another Let's Play. Today we are doing a game called Treacherous. Now this isn't the full game. This is the earliest demo available, which means this is not even like half done. Um, but the dev was nice enough to give us a sneak peek. You can see over here, we are in a escape pod, guys. Uh, and the story is that we were betrayed and are being uh, sent back down to a barren earth to try and survive. Um, now, what I just grabbed there, it's got a little flashlight, um, and I'm sure the dev will work a bit on the, the light sources and all that. You can see though the, uh, the shell here looks nice, the uh, shell of your actual, uh, I'm guessing I'm some sort of cyborg? I don't quite look human. Um, so yeah, uh, the engine moves smoothly, it's fast. Um, so this game looks like it's going to do a lot with the drones, they're going to be a big feature of the game. Uh, and I'll show you why. If you hold down this here, you can see here it says drone me menu, uh, grappler, throw. So there's going to be a lot of like sprinting, some leap and grab. Um, and to the right there, you can see that each have capacity, remotes, grapplers, anti-gravity lock picking, and uh, uh, there's a lot of that stuff. Um, the dev was uh, telling me there is a working puzzle in this, but not to expect too much yet out of the demo. It's super early, so you guys aren't just getting an exclusive. You're getting the exclusive of all exclusives. You guys are getting... Think of this as like the... Uh, if most demos are like a, a point one, you guys are getting the point one one. Like... Well, most demos are a point one. You're getting the like half point. Alright, so that's how early this demo is. Um, now you can rotate there with the thing. Oh, oh, and we're doing it, baby. We're going up. We're going up. Um, so we're climbing. I don't know where the hell we just ended up here. Are we climbing? Oh, good, 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 good. Alright, we're getting the hell out of here. Alright, uh, so we have climbed up this ladder. And again, some things are going to be a little rough right now, but again, you know, th this guy basically threw this demo together for us to try, so that was mighty nice of him. Uh, thank you, uh, Treacherous Dev, for doing that for us, because we here like exclusives, we like this stuff that makes us feel super cool. Super cool! So, uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm interacting with. Me? Interacting with me. I do like my guy's uh, body here. He looks like he'd be a member of Daft Punk, doesn't he? Um, oh god. Maybe I interact with this here. Let's interact with this here. Um, now, one thing I have noticed uh, is that although it's early on, there is a light engine in this. A, a lighting engine, I will say. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, I see what's going on here. So that's what I interact with. I uh, get the hell out of there. That's a uh, that's my official escape pod, I believe. Okay, now look at that here. Now I can hit spacebar to separate the escape pod, and we're going to do that. My seatbelt's on, baby. Click, and we're off. That's separated. I don't know how it engaged. Where is he felt? Um, so there we go. So that is the start of this. Uh, now treacherous, as I'm told, Earth is covered in water on the ground. So what we're going to want to do... And that, yeah, there we are. Check it out. I'm going to select New World by the way. Um, go select New World. And what happens here, guys, is the Earth has water on the ground, so we're going to need to get building to building by leaping, by using our drones that you saw earlier in order to use, like, grappling hooks. Uh, I believe he told me something about a zip line, which is an option. Uh, so as this game progresses, look forward to these things being put in the game. Again, this is an early look, our first early look, our first game demo. 
But this is an exclusive here at Bones and Gary. We're excited to bring this to you. Super friendly developer. Um, what's great about letting us give this a try, and thank you again, you know, for the dev, because uh, I think it's kind of cool looking, man. It's got, uh, you know, I mean, it's an early demo, so that's a fence I just rammed into. Already on Earth, I have made my first oops. Uh, no, I don't know what I am doing, really. Oh, look, there we go. You approach the escape pod that brought you here. One piece. Again, it's been a good while since you arrived. The pack continues to steam. It's a fusion court idol seemingly for every check it and appears to have an emergency beacon has reached no one. There's little option left here to venture away. The water seemed to rage on forever, and lightning hasn't ceased in any direction as far as you can see. We've tried to wait, but hunger and mania are going to set in. You're now sure nobody is coming. So those meters up there must be health and uh, maybe mental health? Uh, I'm curious about that there. Um, I tend to go toward glowy things. It's probably going to be my doom one day in, in real life. Is that a little buddy in here? A mysterious uh, device appears to be a drone. Purposed uh, some sort of transceiver. Tab and text to directly use objects or devices. Actress interactive mode with the mouse. So let's hit tab and see what we do here. Oh God, I wasn't even doing the right thing. There we go. Well, all right, check that out. So is this a puzzle? Is this a map I'm seeing? A blueprint, perhaps? I actually think if I look closer, this will tell me. I can't quite read that there. Uh, let's see, small red dots here. Da -da -da. Okay, so I believe this here is an interactive map. Uh, can I bring... Mr. Map Drone with me? Can I bring this with me? No, I cannot yet. Okay. Wow. That's still pretty darn cool. So it's a little demo here, you know, just showing us how the world works, showing us what he's thinking of doing. Um, oh, what's this? What's this? Hunger and thirsty won't change the fact that all the soda in this machine evaporated away, leaked full of plastic from the linings and rotten. From broken seals, there will be no sustenance here. Who would ever think Soto would be good after a hundred years? It's probably even radioactive <laughs> from the nearby idling reactors. Well, I'm not gonna argue that. Uh, also, this clears up the question of what the F is that? That's clearly an idling reactor. So, uh, how do I get in there, I wonder? Um, one thing that I do like is that this guy's uh, written some story. And like I said, you know, I don't know exactly how we're going to do with this, guys. Don't expect the world. But, uh, you know, this is your first look at a game that is going to be headed your way. This is a very early look, so I almost treat this like a tech demo, if you will. Um, but this looks like a functional bar, the drinking splash. Um... I don't know why I added the end there. Clearly it's a drink and splash. Ugh, goofy. So, uh, when this hits bigger, I have the feeling there's going to be a lot more going on in it. Right now we're just kind of looking around in the game and showing you some different scenes and different things. I cannot enter here yet. I do not know why. I, maybe I have done the wrong thing. Um, can I go around? I don't know if I want to go there. Now I can hit X and drop off ledges. I can hit that and grab ledges. Oh, what was that up there? Okay, so if I hit that, that messes with our endurance. And so some things are like endurance based things. Oh god, see how fast I run? Easy and boat ain't got nothing on me, baby. Okay, so he'll almost auto-pull himself up. Um, interesting. Um, I am curious down the road if he plans to keep the old-fashioned system shock tab 
uh, detailed mouse? Uh, if so, I will say there's certainly worse ways to interact. Um, it is a throwback. I don't know if it's for everybody, so I would just suggest maybe to do two different ideas. Oh, look at this here, guys. Oh my god. Oh god. Jesus. I thought I was going to die. Alright, so I fell off that clearly. I wonder if we can explore a little more in this forbidden land that is Earth now. I'm curious. I'm like the worst when it comes to doing this stuff to me, so... Um, Earth looks kinda how I figured it would. It looks like a rundown factory in Michigan, you know? Uh, but I dig the music here, too, so... Oh, that looks like a horrible fall, so let's not fall down there if we can help it, guys. Something tells me on our next Let's Play Haiti, we're already going to be doing enough of that, speaking of all the robots. Okay. Uh, so, right now we're just kind of exploring, showing you the options here for a game called Treacherous, which will be coming out. Uh, as this goes on, uh, if, if allowed, I will gladly do some more demos of it. Uh, and show you guys its progression and how it's doing and what's going on with it. Um, one thing, like I said, that I think is interesting, right now I'm kind of just exploring because I'm curious. I want to see if that does that. It does, it does. Okay, so you see up there to the left in the blue? I'm guessing that is your endurance, and that can drain, but even like when it runs out here, it starts tapping into- Oh god, what did you do, you fool? Okay. When you, uh, start hitting that, you start draining it, like literally draining it, and then that up there obviously needs to be replenished somehow. Now my red, which I'm guessing is my health, is also going down. Um, so it looks like this is going to be a survival game proper. Uh, not just a... I, I'm guessing there's going to be puzzle, survival, definitely exploration. I mean, you can see that now. I like the idea that the dev has here with the drones for the uh, puzzles, because that's kind of cool. What, can I read this here? Okay, so there is something here. Uh that is messing with that. That looks horribly deadly, and we're going to run around a little more first. I'm hoping I don't have to drop down there, but let's be honest, guys, with my luck, that's probably how it's gonna go. Um, and if I do, I do. Oh, there's a building, there's a building. Uh, gosh, I'm not gonna lie, I really miss my uh, flashlight. Uh, drone right about now. Uh, I feel like I can't see Jack and Shiz neither. Oh, and we got we got some dog action going on in the background, guys. But you know that happens. That happens. I keep our I keep our let's plays real, so I don't edit out the dogs. Um, hey! Come on, man, I'm doing a let's play. Knock it off. That's you, over there. Loud one. Anyways, um, one reason about that is I was asked, you know, well, why don't you just edit that stuff out? Well, I'll be quite honest, frankly, I think it's funnier to leave it in. And two, um, we're not some huge channel, you know? We don't have all the resources some of them do. Uh, and I don't like doing a lot of edit cuts. Um, I'm not gonna say a certain channel, but there are a few channels that drive me nuts because everything they do is like jump cut, another jump cut. I feel like that's disingenuous to the viewer, you know? Oh, in the words of Leroy Jenkins, let's do it. Oh god, that's not good. That was not smart, guys. 
Oh, well, look at this. The crater rocks above the abyss, and common sense tells us that our existence is but a beat crack of light between two entities of darkness. Poetic. A poetic death. I like it. Uh, so anyways, this is treacherous. Uh, if you guys want, uh, I'm going to link you to the thread here, where I'm sure there's a, a, a thing here. I'm going to link you uh, where you guys can follow along here, and, uh, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what I can do for you here with this. Uh, keep in contact um, with this game, though. Keep watching for me to do more about this game, because, I mean, already the foundations are in place here for what looks to be a very unique puzzle game. See, there it is again, the drone now. Let me just show you right here. He's got uh, installed drone systems. Um, and there's some cool things here. I think I can actually just drive the drone, which is kind of neat. You can abandon your drone. Um, so yeah, you know, there's, there's definitely some stuff going on here. Lockpicks would be useful. Camera, battery, flashlight. And I get the feeling as he does this, he's going to do more when it comes down to this. So don't, uh, don't, uh, forget to look out for this game, guys. Because I think, I think we're going to see some more stuff from Treacherous in the future. Uh, I'm Bones. Make sure you like and subscribe, of course. Um, put comments down below. What would you like to see in Treacherous? Let the dev know. Let's be proactive with the dev here, guys. It helps him make the game you guys want. And, you know, tell us some stuff you guys would like to see. Alright, uh, you guys have a great day.